All right, let's see here. Get that first. And every fool is quick to quarrel. Well, that's good, because we know where that is. It's literally right over here. And watch as it's a trap. I'm just ready for everything to be a trap, because I don't have trap sight yet. Oh, no, I have it. All right, what do you got? Hello, Captain Bible. I was reading Matthew 16, 24 to 25, when Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone come after me, he must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life will find it. Uh, whoever follow me, though he die, he may yet live. It's good, it's good. I like it. Uh, I don't want to choose a description because what it means. I don't want you to lie to me too much, so tell me your ideas about it. Protecting yourself is not what God wants. No. Uh, forsaking all I've earned, forsaking self-defense. And when I fall, I fall in you. Anyway, Jesus is talking about need to wear those little jewelry crosses. No. Jesus expected his disciple to be crucified with him. Yes! What? No! He literally told them that! Some leader you are. Whoa, dude! Hey, come on! Uh, take up your cross and follow me? The, all of, almost all of the apostles were murdered, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Wh okay, hold up. <laughs> what do you think was being asked of these people? <laughs> wow. Uh, no, I don't think so. That I need to stop thinking only about myself and think, oh my god. You know, they complain about people like me being soft, but like, look, if you want a better world, like, look at Che. Che was willing to die to end imperialism in Latin America. Like, that is a man who understands take up, take up your cross and follow me, right? Now, he wasn't religious, but you know what I mean? Like, that's a... You, Oh my god, the greatest example, Jesus was the greatest example of denying himself. He left his home with the Father in glory, he came to earth to live with us, he took up his cross and carried it, he gave it everything for us. The verse tells us to do the same type of thing. Also, the, the early church fathers pretty much were all martyred, and also the apostles, like, just saying. Uh... Also, like, a modern parallel maybe would be, like, the civil rights movement, most of the leaders of whom were, like, assassinated. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna point this out. That's a pretty soft gospel there, Bridgestone Media. Um, if you're standing up for the right thing, you probably will get murdered by the capitalist state. Just gonna, just gonna throw that out there. What the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> they say, oh, your gospel too soft. I'm like, no, actually, you guys are the soft ones. For once. All right. Uh, nothing's worth dying for. Whoever, whoever loses his life will save it. Man, I'm fairly confident. I just can't take Bridgestone seriously now. That was probably one of the worst interpretations of that verse I've ever seen. Uh... uh Zachariah, rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout out, your king comes to you, uh, gentle and riding on a donkey. Okay, well, I got that. I, I know that's around here somewhere. I think I'm finally getting enough verses. I'm finally getting the minimum body of verses you need. Gentle Jesus, meek and mild. Don't have an answer to that. Uh, okay, what do we got? It's probably a trap. Oh! Every time I've been, I gotta say it's communicado now. I was reading John, Second John one seven. Many deceivers who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh have gone out into the world. Any such person is deceiver and the antichrist. Well, I get okay. Any such person, not like a specific person. Um, I don't want to twist the scriptures again. Could you tell me what it means? Uh, I don't want to lie to you too much. Uh, let's see, I guess Jesus, the night Jesus are trying to deceive us in there against Christ. Yeah, that's it. Sure. Fine. Wow. Uh, almost every play. You know, it is kind of weird. I grew up with that and I was like, wait a minute. So basically, like, uh, yeah, the w most dangerous thing is other Christians. All right. Almost every. It's very Roman. It's like it's more dangerous that there's a second emperor saying em I'm the emperor than it is like that the horde is like destroying Rome. Almost every place we turn today, even in some churches, we he we hear stories that the Bible is not true. What church is saying that? 
tell me that where which name name them name them specifically is it just churches that are not uh far right maga republicans anyway uh the teaching denies that our lord jesus came in the flesh it, no like that's a specific teaching that is a specific anti-materialist teaching like it's it's gnosticism it's time what oh my god Bible calls people who teach this way deceivers and antichrists. Wow, that really makes sense. Uh, so that <laughs> churches that say things I don't like are the antichrist. No, it's talking of what the fuck? <laughs> oh, Captain Bible, Captain Bible, why why you like you like this Captain Bible? Many 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 such cases. <laughs> now I can't not see that. Ugh. All right, for my non-American audience. Yes, Donald Trump is really funny because the phrase many such cases, the man could say all kinds of hilarious things. And I'll give him that. Many such cases is just such a great phrase. And there's so many of them. But man is terrible. Like he should not be, he should not have his hand on the button. You know what I mean? Uh, so many deceivers around here. Besides, we all know the real antichrist is RFK. I have people like, look at Trump, and I'm like, yeah, but RFK had a wound that was healed, you know, and you can't beat that. Can't. Uh, consequently, face comes from hearing the message, the message is heard for the word of Christ. Okay. Well, do I go back? Because uh, there's hearing involved. Alright, what do we got? Bible power. Bible power. There we go, got it. Just give me the stupid verses already. For all can see that wise men die, the foolish and the senseless like perish and leave their wealth to others. Okay. Well, I know that'll beat that beefy cyber. That'll beat Arnold. For sure. What do you got for me, baby? Uh, don't have that. But we're gonna loop around to get to Arnold, cause Arnold, Arnold's got the goods. You know what I mean? What the hell? All right, down here. Oof. We're approaching. We're approaching one hour of record time to get this done. And I gotta say, I don't think we're gonna. I, it's probably gonna be 90 minutes in this level. Generous people are suckers. Uh. Rich people are suckers. Generous pe Oops. Go down. Down, Captain Bible. Down, boy! Oh, Bible boy. I need you to help me put on this this biblical robe. My ephod. I don't have that one either. Just merciful, humble. No! Don't need that in my life. Uh, let's see. Let's go this way. Bible boy. A large Bible boy. He didn't expect any help from God, huh? Well, uh, disagree. Bible, Bible power. Bible. Got it. They put so many of these in because it's really just about finding all the right verses and unlocking it. Alright, there we go. What do we got? Uh... Not to be arrogant or put their pride in wealth, but to put their hope in God who richly provides everything for our enjoyment. Okay. Do I have the answers? Do I have the answers? Um, no. Still not to Malachi yet. We're going to get there, but we're not there yet. Rich people are suckers. Many such deceivers. Okay, well that didn't work. <laughs> I, I want to hear that version of Donald Trump. <laughs> so many, so many people say they antichrist. Many such deceivers. I think I got this one. Uh, excuse me, what? As we're rich in this present age, not to be arrogant, prideful. If you want to be content, you need lots of stuff. That's close, but I think there's a better one. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Well, Captain Bible, could you tell me? Well, that didn't work either. Apparently, I don't have this one. Oh, wow, I think it was glitching out. All right, well, let's go up and whoop. This way. I feel like I'm plotting movements on like a board or something. Well, let's see. Oh wait, no it doesn't. Uh, I will give you rest. Yeah, there we go, got it. Yeah, 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 we all know. Just zap, 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 sneak attack. <laughs> pocket sand, pocket sand. <laughs> pocket sand, pocket sand. I want some pocket sand. All right, what do you got? I look out to Bibles of Philippians uh, 11, 411, uh, B through 12. I have learned to be content with whatever the circumstances and know what is needed. I know what is plenty. I've learned the secret to be content in every situation. Okay, that's cool. I know, I know uh, tell me, tell me what it means. Uh, the apostle is no matter what our circumstances are. That is true. And that's actually a good thing to cultivate. Uh, it's wonderful to know the peace and contentment that comes from God from our lives. It doesn't depend on our circumstances. And all is that the Lord has supplied uh, a peace like that that is beyond this world's understanding. A man who wrote this letter was the Apostle Paul, and he wrote was in prison in Rome. Wow, that's amazing. All right, that is amazing. Yeah, who could forget Paul, who is counted among the apostles, even though he said he was the least of the apostles, and the evangelicals are like, Give! Want! New! New Jesus! <laughs> New Peter, better than old Peter. I'm sure it's this Arnold right here. I will get through you, Arnold, and I will destroy you. Bible power! Bible power. What? He can shoot lasers out of his face? Arnold, why didn't you do that when you were governor? Come on, man. You've been holding out on me. Watch, this one's a trap. I still don't have trap set. I haven't been back. Oh, okay. Oh my god, QP, calm down. Hello, Captain Bible. I was reading Micah 6.8. He showed you a man. Uh, what's the Lord require of you to act justly? Yeah, okay, yeah. I want to know the truth of this verse. What have you seen in it? Uh, justice versus you know that all God requires of us. Yes! No! You dumb fucks! That is literally what it says! <laughs> <laughs> you dumb heretic fucks that's literally what it says all that i have required of you it's it says all that i've required you of you is this but that's not what it means oh my god uh and what does the lord require to act justly to love mercy and to walk humbly with your god okay what has you seen it no this is literally what God, all that God requires of us. That is literally what is in there. What the fuck? No, I don't think so. No. Does it, does it mean the knowledge of how we live has already been given to me, my God? Let me, let me promote heresy. You know why? Because they hate that verse. They hate what it implies and they want to change its meaning. We're talking about good. I'm not even gonna read that. I'm not even. No, I'm sorry. You don't get to. Just, you know what I mean? You complain about people like, you know, they complain constantly about people like me or other people. Like, You're changing the meaning of scripture, and then they just change it because it's damaging to their organization. That's what it is. It's just what it is. It's just what it is. Wow. I don't know if I've ever been genuinely angry on stream, but I'm genuinely angry about this. <laughs> oh my god. Well, let's just, just save here. Let me just save. Constantly saves. Come. I do need more faith, though. We're going to go up here. Fly. I think it's this one, yeah? Oh, no! Well, we'll go back. It's actually, I think it's over here. I think it's like the one that's like up this, this side. What is that one that I just flew by? Whatever, we're going to get some faith. We're going to get some trap sight. It's all going to be good. There have been two two interpretations in this one that have made me genuinely angry. <laughs> Which apparently, according to one of the previous chapters, I think I shouldn't do. Wow. 
Also, like, to be honest, the evangelical movement is basically just, like, neo-stoics. They're great. Lord, uh, warn me of traps and snares. Uh, where does it talk about traps and snares? Warn me of the traps they've set for me. I don't like stoicism because it's basically republicanism, right? They're like, oh yeah, like there's people who are poor and they're bad and there's people who are emotional and that's bad and there's the physicality and that's bad and we should just ignore all those things. What's that? The workers want more wages. Well, they should know their place. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I don't like stoicism that much. Um, God doesn't take care of rich people. They're on their own. Isn't there a verse about how the riches will eat your flesh like fire? I'm pretty sure that's in there. Your riches testify against you and they'll eat your flesh like fire. Uh, I'm very curious how they're going to make that work because I cannot think of a single verse that's like, rich people are good, actually. <laughs> exploiting exploiting people is good, actually. <laughs> it's the Ferengi scriptures, maybe. It's like what they say, Americans are just temporarily embarrassed millionaires. That's all we are. All right, let's confront this cyber. Humble, not, yeah, whatever, Micah, baby. But only in a way that we feel good about it. They don't want you to like care about justice in a way that would result in the end of white supremacy. That would be bad. All right, uh, let's verse loaded. Command them to do be rich in good deeds and be generous to share, and so they help up the treasures and so it's if this is a, this is not, I don't know the context here, but it, I don't think this is specifically about rich people. Um, and, uh, if it is, whatever, but, like, I think they're gonna try to interpret this as, like, all right, you know, rich people, good, actually, because they're the ones that are funding the Southern Baptist Convention. Generous people are suckers. Oh, yeah? No, they're not suckers. Generous people, though, good. Very good. You should be generous. Generosity is important. What do we got? The love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. Uh, some people eager for money have wandered from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. So yes, rich people are suckers. <laughs> oh, how are they going to escape this one? They're like, oh, why? Well, I mean, my rich people aren't suckers. They've just wandered from the faith. I'm like, you mean they're an antichrist? No! Never! <laughs> we need them to continue donating to the church. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, money is the root of all kinds of love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. Jeff Bezos loves money more than he loves his workers. Gonna say this right now. Oh. What? Surprising. I'm surprised I don't have this one. Okay, I command... Well, I didn't even read it. I command those who are rich in this world to, like, aspire to something other than being rich, right? What shall we eat or what shall we wear? For those pagans run after the... How did he fall? Is known, known when you need them. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm actually going to use the Bible part here. I command uh, those who are present in this world not to be arrogant nor put their hope in wealth. What? Um, but put their hope in God. <laughs> yes, that's right. Part of that, remember when Jesus was like, hey, rich guy, give up your money, give it to the poor and follow me. He's like, redistribute the wealth, dumbass. And he's like, oh, I can't. And I'm like, yeah, I get that. Like, you don't want to lose what you got, but come on, bro. Come on. You're going to be ensnared by it until you de-ensnare by it. I'm really surprised that, uh, I'm really surprised they even included those verses, because quite frankly, it sabotages their, their indoctrination a little bit. But, you know, whatever. Oh, da 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 da. And not even God can calm your fear of death. I don't have the answers. We're most of the way there. I feel like I feel like another ten minutes, and we're gonna we're gonna figure this out. But I just so close, just like that close. Answer me this, robot. Uh, seek ye first the kingdom of God. All right, let's do it. Got it. Yeah, baby. 
It's gonna be a communications booth. All right, what do we got? Well, if it isn't William Defoe, hello, Captain. He's also the hottest one. Let's be real. Look at them. Look at those cheekbones. Oh yeah, cheekbone. Hello, Captain Bible. I was reading Psalms uh, 23, 4. Even though I walked through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. I don't know if that's going to be about the comfort of death. I think the valley of the shadow of the death is the idea is like, well, I might die soon because I'm like fighting physically with people, but whatever. Uh, Jesus must be codependent to be around us all the time. Jesus fears is a state of mind, which is sort of true. I mean, there's justified, whatever. Uh, does it mean I can trust Jesus to be around when I need him? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, William Defoe, you don't need to be afraid of nothing. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Surrounded by fears, don't care. Scared of everything. Scared of, uh, scared of the woke mind virus turning my children out of places to go here. Oh. What? Oh, I'm too, I'm too far up. All right, let's go. I don't, I, 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 I will find, all right. I'll, I'll fear no evil. I don't got it, don't gotta fear it. Don't fear the reaper, baby. Give me that verse. Whoever trusts in riches will fall, but the righteous will thrive like a green leaf. Yeah, riches ain't gonna save you, baby. But I can go into this one. What do we got here? Being a Christian just means war work. Barbo power. power! McFly, you fool. You can't you can't fight the demons unless you have Bible power. <laughs> yeah, unless you got Bible power. That's like my favorite line from uh, Back to the Future 2. It's like, McFly, you fool. You can't ride a hoverboard on water. Yeah, unless you got power. I'm like, who was the guy who said unless you got power? Because that was the best delivery I've ever seen of any line. I uh, congratulate you. He came humbly. He sure did. All right. Uh, Zachariah. Rejoice, O Zion. Your king comes riding a donkey. How many verses do we need? Oh, there he is. Welcome to my... Welcome to my money room. If you need a loan, then you've come to the right place. Uh, greed. Or, at least from my screen, it looks like Grebe. Which is like a type of bird. <laughs> I don't need money. I just need to talk to you. Sure, I'd be glad to tell you how I made it from rags to riches. Well, maybe later. I'd rather talk about what you're doing right now. Oh, I'm doing great. Now that I'm rich, I never have to worry about a thing. There's nothing like counting your money to make you feel very warm and secure. Okay, I, I'm down with I'm down with tearing this guy apart. Yeah, let's do it. I can't trust the wealth. You can't trust the wealth to keep you safe and secure. I don't understand. I think they are wasting my time. Please leave now. What? Come on, buddy. Come on. <laughs> You're ensnared by your love of money. Also, you got a lot of pesos there, buddy. It's a lot of pesos. Love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. I don't understand. Really? Okay. Here, I'm just going to save this. I can't believe I got here, but I'm worried I'm missing one because there's so many. Alright, we're just going to brute force it. Wait a second. There are plenty of good righteous Christians out there that have heaps of money. Are they that righteous if they have heaps of money but allow their fellow man to starve in the street? Uh, it's true, I'm talking about the state of your heart, not the size of your wallet. And you love money. Wait a minute! Captain Bible! Come on! <laughs> when you love money, and I've said, could I do more to help poor people? Yes, me personally, I could definitely do more to help poor people. But Jeff Bezos could end world hunger right now, and he doesn't do it. Uh, when you love money, it can pull away from God. Loving money causes all sorts of evil in your life. I'll show you. I, can I put God and money on sort of equal footing? You know, make them both a priority? No, you can't. You can't serve two masters. You can not You can still make money, but God won't share center stage with your life with anything else. So, God wants me to be poor, does he? God may or may not ask you to give up your money. No, he definitely is asking you to give up your money. Uh, there's a reason that the early church had very few rich people in it. Because, uh, yeah, it's definitely more of a religion for people who are downtrodden. Um... You need to be willing to do whatever God asks of you. But I don't know how to live without lots of money. What if I end up going hungry? You probably won't. Uh, 
Yeah. Why well, still is what does with the most toys wins? Well, that's a pretty foolish saying. Listen. I don't understand. I think you're wasting my time. I am. I am wasting your time. And ideally so. It costs you a lot of money. Uh, you said that I might have to get used to being poor. The one who dies with the most toys wins. I don't understand. I think you're wasting my time. I definitely have the answer to that. Because we got through there. I don't remember what that is. I don't understand. Uh, no, your riches testify against you, and on the day of judgment, they will rise up and eat your flesh like fire. Oh, <laughs> too spicy. <laughs> oh. oh, man, will they eat my flesh like fire? Maybe. Well, I suppose I've been pretty greedy lately. I guess I've uh, pretty much forgotten God, too. Would you tell me what I need to do? First, he said to stop placing your hope and trust in wealth. Uh, place your hope in God alone. First, he said to stop placing your hope and trust in wealth. Place your hope in God alone. Then he gives you all that. I don't understand. I picked the wrong one. It was the other one. They're going to have me do Paul again. It's just Paul, Paul, Paul. We love Paul. He's so great. Paul's the best. I can't believe how great Paul is. He's so good. I'm like, Paul of Tarsus is a guy. <laughs> Secondly, to be rich in good deeds, generous and willing to share. Are you sure God knows what I need? Sure does. I don't understand. Dude, come on. I'm trying to make this easy for you. But you're literally a giant talking coin. I, I think you've been... I, this is an example of a rich man who's been captivated by his riches. Uh, okay, so the other thing, too, is, like, captivated by his riches. Like, you don't have to give up your riches to follow Jesus. I'm like, ah, you kind of do, buddy. What if I let go of greed and I don't have any goals to work for? Like, well, I do if I... Will he take care of me? Forgive me for letting money and things substitute for a relationship with you and your people. Oh, he's going to turn into a human person. Oh, he's like a... Oh, God, he looks like Baron Harkonnen. <laughs> Praise God, I've been changed into something much worse. <laughs> Thank you for showing me the truth. Is there anything I do to help you? Yes, I need you to offer it the Unibot. For free? Well, of course for free. Okay, I'll do it. I'll meet you there. Yay. Oh, wow. That was, that was some top-notch and uh, surprisingly diverse content for me, Turbo Selbor. If you liked that, you should uh, subscribe and comment. And uh, yeah, just remember, gaming's for everybody, not just for like your older brother who has like a neck beard.